Hi, in this video we are going to see how to troubleshoot a failed laptop and we are gonna see three levels of troubleshooting. So, as you can see here, this is the first level of troubleshooting. Okay, so we are gonna see the process of troubleshooting. We have the power source over here, we have the cable and the adapter, okay, and the laptop. So, this is the troubleshooting tree as you can see so over here we have the laptop so let's assume that we have a problem in the laptop the laptop won't turn on so what should we check first so let's assume that we have a laptop that that won't turn on okay so when we press the power button so if the laptop is on means there is no problem it's okay but if we press the power button and the laptop still off we should then check the adapter okay the power adapter so if we check the adapter and we find it a bad adapter okay so we can just replace it or fix it and then the laptop will be on and then we will save and then we will solve the problem but if we replace or fix the adapter and the issue or the problem still persists then we should check the power source okay so if the power source is not okay we can just repair it and then we solve the problem but if we check the power source and we find that the power source is okay but the laptop still not working means there is a problem in the laptop so this is the first level let's go to the second level so now the second level of troubleshooting we are gonna go deeper a little bit so as you can see here this is the power source 230 60 hertz or 150 hertz no problem this is the cable okay so this is the plug of the power cable two plugs and here we have the adapter as you can see and this is the power adapter plug let's assume that 19 volt this it can be 19 volt or 20 volt no problem and then we have here the dc jack as you can see and the power button so as you can see here this is the second level of troubleshooting so let's assume that we have a bad laptop or a laptop that won't turn on so when we press the power button if we press the power button and the laptop is on then okay but if we press the power button and the laptop still off then we should check the adapter and power cable so if the adapter and power cable will find problem in the adapter or in the power cable we can just repair the problem or change the adapter and then the problem is resolved but if we don't find any problem with the adapter and with the power cable means we should check the power source the same as in first level of troubleshooting so if we check the power source and we find it not okay we should fix the power source and then the laptop will be powered but if the power source is okay then we have the problem in the laptop what should we check there the problem can be in the power jack or in the power button or in the laptop motherboard itself so in the first level we're gonna see the laptop motherboard so here this is the third level of troubleshooting where we will go and analyze the laptop motherboard so of course so the first thing to check in the laptop motherboard is the power jack as you can see you should check the power jack because this is the gauge of power for the whole motherboard so you should check first the power jack is it good or not especially this terminal okay and then you should check the solder in the back of the motherboard if there is a dry solder or a bad solder you should do another solder because 
if there is a dry solder the power will not be will not pass to motherboard circuits so you should first check the power track and of course check the 19 volt between ground and the positive terminal okay then you should check the power button okay or the power so the power button or the power switch should have 3.3 volt in the positive terminal basically the power switch or the power button contain two pins basically you will find four pins but two pins for ground and two pins for positive where you can test 3.3 volt so if you don't find 3.3 volts in the power switch means the two pin the 3.3 volt is missing but normally you should find 3.3 volt in one pin and this is the ground and here we have 3.3 volt exactly this is the schematic of the power switch as you can see so we have here 3.3 volt and here we have the ground when we press the power switch the 3.3 volt will pass through the switch and goes to, to the ground then we will measure here 0 volt then the laptop will be on but now the problem is if you don't find 3.3 volt in this pin you find 0 volt then you should diagnose the 3 volt 5 volt circuit in the motherboard so here we have the troubleshooting tree this is advanced level so when the laptop is bad we press the power button and we find that the power button is good okay and then we check the power switch if you check the power switch if you find 3.3 volt in this power switch but the laptop still won't turn on means you have problem in the motherboard the motherboard failed you should check the motherboard circuit but if you find zero volt in the power switch means you have problem in the three volt motherboard circuit